Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you my five ingredient chicken dinners. Now I hope you all had just a wonderful Christmas. I can't believe that it's already over, but hopefully you, you still have family in town, you're doing lots of stuff together, and you don't wanna spend a lot of time making dinner. So I thought I would share some quick, easy recipes, my five ingredient chicken dinners. Now before I jump into the recipes, at the very end of this video, I wanna share with you a cute little video of my baby. I love that they can do like the 3D images now. So if you wanna watch that, it's gonna be at the end today. So I wanted you to enjoy the recipes first and then a little bit of fun. So if you guys are ready, let's just jump right in. The first five ingredient recipe that I'm making today is our club chicken. Now this chicken is super tender. You guys are gonna love it. All right, first you're gonna put some club crackers in a baggie or however you wanna crush them. I just like to do it in a baggie because it makes my life a little easier. So we want about a cup and a half of the crackers. So we'll see what this gives us. Okay, then we're just gonna pour about a cup and a half into here. Also into this bowl, we're gonna add a little packet of Italian dressing, just right on top. Then just mix this all together. All right, now for the butter, it calls for four tablespoons, but we're gonna actually make a lot of chicken. So we're gonna just do one stick or just the eight tablespoons and we're gonna melt it in the microwave. All right, chicken is ready, let's cut into it. Now these <laughs> chicken breasts are huge. So we're actually gonna try and cut these in half so we can serve more people or we can have more chicken for later. And I don't know about you guys, but I always try and cut the fat off of the chicken. That is not my favorite part. I know my knife is not ideal, but it's my sharp knife. So I, if you have any suggestions with knives, guys, I need some help. Okay, we're just gonna cut it. What is this called? Butterfly way? <laughs> I don't know, but long way instead of right in half. It will cook a lot faster and it will still feel like they're getting a big piece of chicken. So we have our nine by 13 pan here. We're just gonna spray with cooking spray. or non-stick spray, whatever you call it. Our chicken is all ready to go. We have quite a bit of chicken, so we might need some more butter and more breadcrumbs, but that's okay, because we have some. So we're gonna go straight from our butter into the breadcrumbs, try our hardest to cover it all, and then we're gonna go straight into the pan. All right, chicken is ready to go. We're gonna cook them at 375 for an hour. All right, we ended up pulling the chicken out about 15 minutes early, just because once the internal temperature hits 165, you wanna pull it out. So it only took about 45 minutes to cook, just because the chicken was so thin. Okay, Maylee's gonna try the club chicken. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. She's gonna dip it in ketchup, she said, so. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, but I would rate it out of like five out of Four? So like a four out of five? Yeah. Okay, awesome, thanks May. Mm -hmm. The next recipe I'm making is our five ingredient chicken Caesar salad wraps. Now I love this recipe because you can make it for lunch or a very quick dinner. It only takes about 10 minutes to throw together. Now I'm gonna do the cheater way of chicken. I love this already grilled and ready, but you can also use rotisserie chicken or just cook some chicken breasts. It'll, it'll work just fine. So this is frozen. We need to microwave it, thaw it up a little bit. So we have our chicken, we have our tortillas. We're just gonna like put these together now. So they kind of get big really quick. So we're just gonna do a little layer of chicken. And I love the shredded lettuce. It's just so much easier to eat. But you can have your, you know, like normal Caesar salad lettuce if you want. Then you can add some carrots. And then the nice thing about this recipe is that you can add all kinds of vegetables. I actually had a few tomatoes left over. So I'm actually gonna throw a few tomatoes on there. If you have peppers, if you have, spinach, like literally anything you can throw onto this. And then the last thing you're gonna do is just add a little bit of Caesar dressing. This is called Newman's Own. It's one of my favorite Caesars. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit. And then you just roll it up very carefully. And that is it. Super simple, super easy, pretty healthy. You can also use wheat tortillas if you want to, but we use white today. All right, Ensley is here with the taste test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Caesar salad wrap, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah? I'll give it a five out of five. Five out of five, woohoo! 
And the last recipe I'm making is our sticky sesame chicken. I've been making this for years and it's one of my most favorite recipes. Right, you're first gonna take a bag of popcorn chicken. Now, this recipe is the best if you use popcorn chicken. So we're just gonna dump this onto our cookie sheet and just cook it like normal. Or I guess, as the instructions tell you to. So you're gonna get a saucepan and we're gonna go on medium high heat. Okay, we're gonna take some honey. This is my special honey that I love buying at the farmer's market. Sad that that's over right now, but we're gonna do six tablespoons of honey. Okay, and then you have four tablespoons of ketchup. We're just gonna kinda all eyeball this and yes. Nice thing about this recipe, it doesn't have to be exact. But yeah, about four. Now, I didn't count this as an ingredient, so there really is six ingredients, but we, we also need some sugar. But I figure most of you have sugar. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of sugar in here. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of just white distilled vinegar. I know what you're thinking. This might taste weird, but I'm telling you, it is so good. And then our last thing is just two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all together. We're gonna wait for it to boil. And then once it boils, we're gonna turn down the temperature a little bit and just let it simmer for a few minutes. Now I love this because we can make this while the chicken is cooking. So it makes it go by pretty quick. All right, it's, as you can see, it's starting to simmer. It's starting to thicken up. It is time to add our chicken. Our chicken is all done cooking, so we're just gonna throw it right into this pot. Now these are kinda hot, so I'm gonna use some tongs to go from the cookie sheet right into here. We're just gonna put all the chicken in, and we'll mix it all around. <laughs> so now you're just going to very carefully mix in your chicken with the sauce. We wanna coat all of the chicken. They're all done. It looks so good. It's like a perfect amount of sauce to the chicken. Now you can serve it and eat it just like this and just have sticky chicken on your plate. But I personally love to have it over some rice and I, I cheat and I use the, the 90 second Ben's original rice. So just cook in 90 seconds and you're done. Now, I know this isn't part of the five ingredients, but you can always add a little bit of green onions on top. Gives it a little bit of kick of flavor. And then it is called sesame chicken, so. If you want to add some sesame seeds, you can do that too, but you definitely don't have to. All right, Sarah's gonna do sticky chicken. Ready? Okay, go ahead. Good? It tastes like... All right, so what you gonna rank it? It tastes like a donut. A donut? What? I'm gonna give it a six out of six again. Six out of six, all right, that sounds good. You like sticky chicken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Baby Harper. Uh, at least I think that's what we're gonna call her. Pretty sure that's what her name's gonna be. But yeah, so in about 33 weeks, I'm gonna be induced on January 7th, so it's coming. All right guys, if you love this video, you want some more five ingredient recipes, I got some right up there. Okay, I'll see you next time.